Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on today's video. Today I'm starting a brand new series on my channel and this is going to be a vlogging process of my new journey to minimalism, um, happiness, and living a simpler life. So as you guys know, on my channel I have shared a lot of different hauls, a lot of different fashion videos, and I have shared a lot of minimalist inspired outfits and lookbooks and I'm not gonna lie I definitely feel like my style is very simple and it does have that minimalist flair to it but I realize now that I am not living a minimalist lifestyle especially when it comes to my habits um, and so style apotheca you guys might know her she's on YouTube and Instagram her actual name is Christina she has inspired me with her low buy series on her channel to start my own take control of my life, of my finances, and of a slight shopping addiction that I might have. I definitely need to go more further into this, but I just wanted to introduce you guys to this new series. I will talk a little bit more on it in a bit, but today I'm focusing on decluttering and organizing my wardrobe. You guys know how many wardrobes I have. I have a closet. I've got a shoe shelf. I've got another shoe shelf. I've got all of these bins, I've got this clothing rack, and then I also have like five shoe shelves downstairs. So it's gotten a little bit crazy, and I think it's just taken me this long to realize how much stuff I do not need, and how much simpler and happier my life could be if I just got rid of the things that stressed me out. So I'm going to go more into detail on this in a little bit, but for now I'm going to go get some coffee, get some breakfast, so that I am energized for this journey that we are about to start, and then we will jump right into it. So you guys saw that bouquet that I had right here so it was wilting already because I've had them for over a week now so I repurposed it I took out the eucalyptus and the baby's breath because these can actually dry and they pretty much stay looking the same these ones the baby's breath just turn a little bit yellow but I really like how cute and simple this is so I'm gonna put it somewhere here I feel like this little corner needs a bit of greenery and I kind of like how it looks with the candles. And then for the roses, I really didn't want to waste them. And I follow Janice Yostema on Instagram. And she actually shared that she pulls off the petals when they start to wilt. And she uses these for flat lays and for baths. So I think I'm going to do the same thing. I took only a few of the red ones just because most of them were like pretty dry already. And they had like crusty edges. But the white ones were pretty good. So... I put them in this little takeout container and I'm going to leave them in the bathroom to use for when I have a bath. Okay guys, so let's dive a little bit deeper into why I have decided to completely simplify my life, to minimize my wardrobe, and to basically stop shopping. Um, I have been inspired by Style Apotheca, like I said, and basically I've been thinking about this for over two weeks now. I kind of had this weird epiphany after I watched a specific movie, which was Pretty Woman. Um, it's with Julia Roberts. If you guys don't know what that movie is, I definitely recommend that you go and watch it. But basically, actually that wasn't even two weeks ago, that was like maybe a week ago on my birthday. It was last week. So yeah, it's only been maybe a week. Um, and that movie inspired me because I realized back in the day they didn't have all of this social media. They didn't have technology like we have now. Um, they had phones and they had computers, but they were nowhere near as advanced as they are now. And I feel like women back then had choices and they had options, but definitely not as much as now. Um, and people were happy back then. And so in my mind, I was just kind of like, why are we so involved and so 
obsessed with getting new things all the time. Um, I know for me as a fashion blogger, I'm constantly sent stuff and I get really excited about new things and getting the shiny new trends and like all of that type of stuff. But I feel like I place a lot of value in material things and it has really, really hindered being able to be happy about other parts of my life and things that actually matter and this is something that has taken me a while to actually completely realize because it's a hard cycle to break out of, okay? I have been probably addicted to shopping since I was in early high school. Um, since I started working, making my own money, I would go straight to the mall. I shared this in a blog post actually, I'll link it down below for you guys. I would literally go straight to the mall after I got paid and I would spend it all. So from an early age, my parents always taught me the right lessons on saving and stuff, but they also let me do my own thing because I was earning my own money. And it was always very hard for me to save money. Um, it was very hard for me to put money aside to save for bigger items. And I feel like I was always just like grasping at new things. And it was very stressful for me. And I felt like I was always just not making enough money. And I really hate that cycle. I really hate how that makes me feel. And I have been able to break out of it definitely going into my adult years. And I am nowhere near as bad at my shopping addiction as I was back then. So I have gotten better and it's because I have been, you know, reading about minimalism and being inspired by other women who have simpler wardrobes and are able to work with the little or few things that they have and still look really good. So I know that it's possible and I know that being on social media gives us kind of this skewed view and perspective of what we should have and I feel like it's very toxic and I just want to back away from it and I want to take control of my life because no shopping or at least shopping with more intention and being more aware of what I have and what I need is going to help me one save money this is definitely going to help me with my financial future just like Christina said in her videos, it's going to help me be happier about when I do actually get new things, when I have saved up for them or set aside money for a specific amount of time so that I could actually earn them and feel like I deserve them instead of just going and spending money that I know would be coming in but I didn't necessarily save up for. Um, and it's also just gonna help me feel better emotionally because I know that having a lot of options really stresses me out. And I feel like I'm constantly battling these two different types of people in my head. One version of me is very simple. I could literally live in a cottage, okay? This is one of my biggest things that I've realized over the past week or so. It's, it's about who I am, and I'm really happy that I've realized these things. So one side of me could be living the simplest life. I could live on a cottage, I could live on a farm, I could live literally off the land. I could wear the same dress for a week straight and be happy in it as long as it was something that made me feel good and something that I felt confident in. And then the other side of me is a city girl. I love to go shopping, I love to be in downtown, I love to browse the stores, I love to have shiny and new things, I love love to be modern, I love technology. So there are two different types of me and I choose a simple life because this is the one where I feel truly happy, I feel whole, and I'm able to focus on the things that really matter. So this is why I am trying to simplify my life. There are so many good things that I know are gonna come out of this and I've chosen to share this stuff on YouTube with you guys through this low buy and kind of simplifying my life journey because I know that you guys are gonna help to keep me accountable and I also know that it's also going to help me stay accountable um, for my actions and I'm always gonna be thinking, okay, Okay, so if I buy this thing, I'm gonna have to tell all of them and it's not gonna be a fun ride. So I'm hoping that through doing, I'm, I'm thinking like maybe a monthly vlog series. I'm not 100% sure yet. So I'm hoping that with this series, I will be able to keep myself accountable and really simplify my life and become happier overall. But also I hope that I will be able to inspire some of you if you are feeling the same way. I know that social media is very toxic at times. And actually over the past few months, I have been feeling very emotionally drained and I just haven't known why. And I feel like every time I talk about this, I finally 
feel that glimmer of like bliss and joyfulness that I have been missing in my life for a really really long time and so I'm very excited to do this I'm very excited to start this journey I will talk about it more with you guys later but let's get started on decluttering and organizing my wardrobe so there is a plan that I have in place for this there are actually a few different questions or a few different points that I've written down when I had this big epiphany. I literally, it's like 12 a.m. I think, and I like pulled out my notebook and I started writing everything down. So these are the things that I'm going to keep in mind as I go through my wardrobe and I try to clear out and simplify it. So the first thing is that I need to follow my style rules. So I have five or six style rules and they're in my uh, recent blog post, Less is More. There are two different parts to it and I basically share with you guys what I kind of keep an eye out or consider uh, when I'm shopping and when I am choosing my outfits. So I will link that one down below for you guys if you want to read it. But basically what I'm going to be doing is trying on the items that I am unsure about for the size and fit. So I want to make sure that every single thing in my wardrobe fits me properly because so many times I will go into my closet I will put something on and be like, oh, like this is going to be a great outfit, this is perfect for what I'm doing, and then I'll put it on, and it won't fit me properly, and I'll be so disappointed, and I'll just put it back on the hanger and be like, okay, you know, maybe it will fit me in like a few months or maybe next year. And that's just so unrealistic because I'm pretty sure I'm not growing anymore. So I'm going to get rid of anything that does not fit me properly or anything that I feel is not worth getting hemmed or altered. The next thing is that I'm going to ask myself, when was the last time I wore it? This is definitely something that's very important for me because there are a lot of pieces for example, there is a floral dress on this rack back here. It's from Choosy. It is absolutely stunning. It is such a princess fairy tale floral dress and I love it, but I've only worn it once and that was in Paris and I haven't worn it since and I've been keeping it just in case, you know, I go to a wedding and I want to wear something floral, but that's not a great way to be organizing and sorting out my closet. So Things like that need to go. It will hurt my heart a little bit, but I think over the long term, I am not gonna regret doing it. So I will have a lot of these pieces up for sale. I'm thinking I'm gonna start up my Depop again, or I will start a Poshmark, but I will let you guys know, obviously. Um, the next thing I'm gonna ask myself, is it trendy? So did I buy it based on someone else that I saw wearing it? Probably on social media, because we do that. Girls do that all the time. I know that I share a lot of stuff on here and then you guys go and buy it. Um, that's another thing I want to talk about, uh, but that's for another time. Um, but basically I'm going to be asking myself, is it a trendy piece? Did I buy this because I thought it looked good on someone else? Does it really look good on me? And is this a versatile and essential item that I need in my closet? Or is it something that I'm just keeping in case I decide to wear it again someday. So that's kind of a toxic relationship with clothing that I want to get rid of. The next thing that I have on here is the fact that less options, or the less options I have, the more things will get worn. So for me, this is very important, okay? For me, now I'm realizing why I do not wear so many of my clothes it's because I have too many of them. I have way too many options, but I definitely know that I always gravitate towards specific things. But I also know that if I decrease the amount of clothing I have, each item that I actually have is going to get worn more often. So this is definitely something that I'm keeping in mind as I go through my entire wardrobe. And if I receive new items from brands or if there is a specific creative idea that I want to share with you guys, say it's a haul or say it's a specific way to style a certain item that has been requested by you guys, I'm always going to consider that when I am choosing clothing from a brand. And I'm always going to kind of keep in mind that, okay, maybe I'm using this for a video or maybe I'm using this for a creative you know, piece of work that I'm doing, but do I necessarily need to keep it in my closet? This is something that is huge for me because I do keep a lot of the stuff that brands send me and I'm always trying to get items that I know are versatile or in neutrals because I know that I'll be able to keep it in my closet. But I think that I need to just stop doing that because it's definitely filling up my closet faster than I can wear everything. So that's one of my big points as well. 
and then uh, less clothes will make life easier but it will take time so this is going to be an ongoing journey I actually don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get through my whole wardrobe today I'm really gonna try I've got like three hours before I need to meet a girlfriend um, we're gonna have like a little movie day because it's my day off and I do need to rest and relax for a little bit but I have three hours so I'm gonna do my best to go through my clothing shoes are another story I thought I was gonna do it in this video but I don't think I will have time to. So I'm gonna focus on just my clothes. And then another thing will be jewelry, another thing will be makeup, and another thing will be skincare. And then after all of this, you guys, I feel like I'm just gonna feel so light and happy. I'm literally so excited for this journey and I can't wait to take you guys with me. So let's get started. All right, you guys, so this is the closet, the infamous closet of Haley Estrada. And uh, we are going to probably cut this in half. So what I'm going to do first is take out literally everything, put it on the bed or on the floor, and then I'm going to start sorting it out. Once the closet is complete, then I will move to these little drawers here. This is going to be quite the ordeal because they're literally like full to the brim. And then we're going to focus on this one over here as well. So let's get started. Okay, you guys, so this is a really big wake-up call for me. I seriously didn't know how much stuff I had until I just pulled it out. And I can't believe this is only what I have in my closet because this is just insane. Like, who needs this much clothing? Who? So, I'm very excited to get rid. I don't even think you guys can see how much stuff is on my bed. Like, this is actually insane, and I am so shocked because I know that this is going to be probably just as much as what's in here, and I am so excited to get rid of a ton of this stuff. This really stresses me out when I'm getting dressed. Like, who really needs this many options? How could you possibly create an outfit and know every single thing that you have in your wardrobe when you have this much stuff? So what I'm going to do now is just look for some bins or maybe some garbage bags and I'm going to separate things into three different piles. I'm going to have keep, I'm going to have sell, and I'm going to have a donate because I do want to just kind of give to charity a little bit, especially if they're pieces that I definitely don't need to sell, if that makes sense. So that's what we're doing now and let's get started. Okay, you guys, so I'm finally like three quarters way through. I just have to sort this pile. Basically, this is what I'm keeping. So drastically decreased, as you guys can see. Um, I really have honed my personal style and it might take me a few minutes to really decide whether or not I want to keep or donate or sell an item, but I definitely know deep down what I will and will not wear even if there's a part of me that is like, no, keep this for like a specific thing, maybe that's gonna happen in the future. I'm really just getting rid of anything that that thought comes up to when I look at it. So right now, this is my keep pile. Some of these bins are actually completely empty. I was able to cut down my socks. I know, so ridiculous, but basically I had all of these full of socks and I got rid of the colorful ones. I do not want neon socks anymore. Um, I just want to keep it plain and simple. You guys know I love my neutrals. These are my yoga and bar socks. I've got my little white ankle socks and little no-show socks down here. And then I've got my regular like crew socks. And I had some gray and black socks, but I decided I don't actually wear those. So I only have two pairs of those now. And I've got this free to store other stuff. I was able to get rid of some of the denim skirts and little things in here. 
I really cut down on my pajamas. I cut down on bralettes. I cut down on bodysuits. This was overflowing as you guys saw and I was able to cut it down so that I only kept the ones that I know I always wear. This is my keep bin. So I think I got rid of half of my denim and then I got rid of maybe a quarter of my casual wear. I do wear a lot of sweatpants and casual stuff at home, so I do have a lot of it, but I wear all of it. So I'm keeping these things, and then I was able to just keep one pair of my faux leather pants because these are the ones that I like the most, and I had like four pairs that I really don't need. This... <laughs> is my selling pile so you guys are gonna see all of this stuff appear either on an Instagram closet for my local subscribers and followers on Instagram or I will also put it on uh, Depop or Poshmark and this is my donate bin basically just um, pajamas socks and like little things that I feel I wouldn't really need to sell but I'm very happy with how much I've been able to cut down and I actually have no regrets about the stuff that I've put in the sell pile or donate pile so I'm really really excited to be able to have a cleaner and more organized wardrobe so let's jump into this pile and then we will move on to the wardrobe Okay, c'est fini. This is everything that I am keeping. Sorry for the exposure, the window's open. Um, I have a lot of black clothing, but it is very gloomy here in Vancouver and it rains a lot in the fall and the winter, so I do like to keep a lot of my darker clothing and I also don't want to get rid of things that are necessarily for those colder seasons because I don't know how I'm going to feel when I get to those seasons and I have no clothes. So I'm trying to keep at least a bit of my stuff, even if it's like a maybe. This is actually a piece that was handed down to me from JR's mom and I really like it. I took out the shoulder pads because it was a bit much for me and I'm obviously very petite, but it is real leather. So I do want to keep it just in case the leather is still in, in the fall and winter season this year. Um, so yeah, this is something that I was unsure about, but I'm definitely keeping just in case. That's actually pretty much the only one that I'm feeling that way about. All of the other stuff is stuff that I wear all the time and I pared down my like six pairs of black pants to three pairs. All of them have different fits and they are different materials so I feel like I'm able to create outfits that are very different in each of them so they are all good to keep and I do wear black pants almost all the time to work so this is definitely an essential that I know will get worn. All of this stuff here is basically blouses, dresses for the summer, and then I've got some blazers under there. Um, I was able to keep a few skirts, but as you guys can see, I only have the basics. So I had, I don't know, maybe like 10 or 11 skirts, and I now have only four, plus a pair of Bermuda shorts, which I really love. So these are the ones that I know are good basics, and if I'm looking for a skirt to wear, I will definitely gravitate towards each of these so those are good to keep and then the rest of this down here I'm going to show you when it gets into the closet but you guys can see it's like a drastic change from the three piles of stuff that I had on the bed and this cell pile is now gigantic so I'm very excited to post this and be able to sell it to you guys I'm going to have very affordable prices because I do just want to get rid of it as soon as possible um, but yeah, stay tuned for that, and now I'm going to put as much stuff as I can back into the closet, and then we will move on to the drawers. Alright, so this is basically what my garments drawer looks like now. I was able to take out that bag. It was really annoying. This drawer has always been overflowing. So I've got my bras, my sticky bras, I've got a garment bag for the laundry, and then I just have my socks here and my bralettes at the back. So this drawer is now complete. The next drawer here used to be full of denim and I have been able to consolidate everything including my loungewear into this drawer. So now I have an extra 
down here. So I'm really excited about that. I feel like I'm always short on storage. I'm always looking for storage solutions, but now having my denim, my one pair of leather pants, and my loungewear in one drawer is very, very easy for me to pick out what I actually need to wear. And now I'm gonna move on to the hanging racks and see what we can do there. Okay, here we are. So I've got all of my blouses and then all of my summer dresses right here. And then it kind of goes into darker and also a warmer season clothes. So I've got long sleeve blouses and then my blazers. And I put my longest coat on the side so that it wouldn't be kind of protruding with my um, laundry hamper. And then I've got my bodysuits and my mini dresses that are folded plus my denim shorts up there. This is just um, like more bralettes, my casual ones that I wear all the time. And then as I said before, this is my pants drawer, undergarments, and this is undergarments and pajamas. I have two extra bins that are empty. And the biggest change of all, I think, is this little area. So I had full, a full rack of pants and skirts and other things here and I finally was able to minimize it. I'm so happy. I got rid of the extra um, four piece hanger that I have and was able to cut down on my skirts. And then I've got all of my go-to pants here and I feel like this is gonna make getting dressed so much easier. I do have a few extra pieces that go in the closet over here. So I will focus on that one after. But for now, I'm really, really happy with how much cleaner it is and how much easier I know it's gonna be to get dressed. Also, look at how many hangers I have extra now. I used to think that I needed more hangers and now I'm realizing I bought way too many and filled them up way too fast. So all of this is clothes that I have gotten rid of and it feels so good. Okay, you guys, so here is the clothing rack. Um, I obviously did put a few pieces in my closet like you guys saw, but I have finally pared down everything to just a few basics. Um, I've got some blouses in here. I've got some little white dresses. I do love white dresses for the summer, so I'm allowing myself to have a few of them, and I do like wearing dresses. Um, it's definitely a part of my natural style that I gravitate towards. So this is like a beachy dress, something very casual, and it has shorts underneath. This one is more formal. Um, this one, I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna keep it still just because the top is a little bit small for me, but I do really love the fit of it and it is double lined, so it is a good quality piece. This one is great for formal events and it's really thick and it's really good quality as well. And then this one is great for a date night or even just photo shoots for my Instagram. This is more of a beach dress. Um, and then I have two black slip dresses. I am keeping both of them because this one in specific, I shared it in my plenty haul and basics video. It can actually be extended into a mini or maxi dress, whereas this one is just a mini dress. So it does give me some versatility to actually wear these different ways. And then I've got a little black slip skirt my button down shirts these are absolutely essential for my closet you guys know that i love them so i have three different types white jean jacket and then these are all of my blazers so i paired it down to three light colored blazers this one is actually a suit set and it has a pair of pants in there. This one I really like for formal events, professional events, and whatever else I might need something a set for. Um, and then this one is just casual, I wear it for work. This one is my oversized beige or camel blazer from Zara. It's a really great quality material and it's oversized so I love wearing it in the fall. And then I've just got my trench coat. 
These two dresses I chose to keep out of all of my colorful ones because this one actually brings me so much joy. It's an amazing fit. I get compliments every time that I wear it and I do like to have at least one color option in my wardrobe. So I'm keeping this one and then I'm also keeping the brand new dress that I got from Aritzia. I have yet to wear this but I'm very excited to soon um, and I hope that I will get some wear out of this every single season or summer season because it is great quality and it's just the cutest little thing and I love the color so that is what I was able to clean out from my ooh, clothing rack and this pile is even bigger now so I'm very excited and I'm gonna move on to these drawers okay so I have now cleared out four of these bins this is my activewear and I just recently went through it to figure out what fit me and what I actually was using so this is actually done and I feel like one box of activewear is fine this is my fall sweaters and I actually went through this as well just so that I could fit stuff in here and it's not the fall and winter season so I do want to leave that for a later date to organize this is accessories, so scarves, toques, berets, and then I've got some belts in here as well as my Dior fanny pack, but I did go through this too, and I think that I have mostly basics in here anyway, so I'm going to leave that one as well. So what I'm left with is this, <laughs> and this is all basically loungewear. As you guys can see, I have a way too big collection of loungewear. Um, which I recently did a haul on and I am regretting now. Um, and then I've got all of my tops. So my long sleeves, my crop tops, my short sleeves, and some cardigans. And I'm really going to go through this and try to consolidate it, hopefully, into two bins. So all of my loungewear was in one bin, but also in here. So hopefully I can just put it all in here and make it all fit in here because I do want to eventually get rid of this whole piece here. So it's going to take some time, but I'm pretty confident that we can do this. Okay, don't mind the kids in the background, but I put all of my um, winter stuff, so toques, berets, some belts, and some gloves, and then also my little fanny pack and designer pieces in this bin, which I emptied from my closet, and I'm hoping to move the scarves that are in that bin that's sticking out into one of these bins because those are overflowing with tights and swimsuits and I really don't think I need that much. So I'm going to sort through those and then hopefully be able to consolidate all of this stuff into less storage space. Okay, you guys, this is the final look of the closet for this video at least. I'm really happy with how much clearer it looks, how much cleaner it looks, and how simplified I have created my wardrobe to be. In these boxes, this bottom one is actually empty, and oh no, the top one is empty, and this one has my winter stuff, pajamas, undergarments. The ones in the top have my tights and my swimwear, and then I put my scarves in there. Um, as I said before, I already showed you guys that stuff, and then I've got undergarments, pants, and I was actually able to fit all of my tops into this drawer. So I've got some long sleeves that I'm still wearing for summer, my t-shirts, crop tops, and some going out tops, and then I've got all of my tank tops and my cropped tank tops in that pile. And then over here, you guys already know, I've got some of my summer dresses, some blouses, some jumpsuits, and then my winter and fall blazers. 
And then as we move over here, we've got all of the stuff that I am selling. Pretty sure that's like either half or three quarters of the wardrobe that I had before. So I'm really excited to be getting rid of all of this stuff. And I will be posting it on my Instagram page for my local people. If you want to figure out a deal, um, if you're not located locally, then please DM me or comment down below with your contact info and I will obviously contact you. But I'm super happy because I finally emptied out four of these bins so hopefully I'm gonna be able to get rid of at least one piece of furniture in my room the next video I'm doing is on shoes and accessories so that's gonna be a whole nother thing to do um, but in these drawers or these buckets I've got activewear and then I've got my sweaters and cardigans and my winter long sleeves in there so I combined those and then as I showed you before, I've got my knitwear. And then on this clothing rack, I have simplified it as you guys already saw. So I'm really happy that it looks cleaner and it doesn't look so cluttered, but that's pretty much it. So stay tuned for the next episode of this series where I will be decluttering my shoes and my accessories. As always, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below because I post every Monday and Thursday. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on Monday.